The new Microsoft V4 multimodal model can be used for highly accurate computer vision and even has OCR capabilities. What if you could create your own local AI application that uses this new model? Today, we are going to show you how. This model is capable of working with text, images, audio, and video. In this tutorial, we'll be building an OCR text extraction application in Python. V4 multimodal is Microsoft's newest small language model with 14 billion parameters. It achieves state-of-the-art results for its size, outperforming other models in complex tasks like math, along with standard language processing. This model builds on the Fee family's focus on high quality with a small footprint. V4 has made improvements in data generation, data curation, and innovations in post-training techniques, pushing the boundaries of size versus quality in language models. Okay, let's get started. First, we will need to set up a Python environment with the necessary Python libraries for using Fee. We can create that environment with this command using the name Fee4Vision as shown. We have a file that contains the packages and version. We call this by using the dash dash file parameter. This will take a few minutes. When this is finished, we need to start or activate the new environment. We have a GPU card. To use it, we will need to install these packages from pip. We use pip for more up-to-date versions of packages. The model we use will be stored in this cache folder. This command shows all the models we have downloaded already. This is the model we will be working with. If we haven't used it before, this will be downloaded automatically the first time we try to use it. Moving on to the code. We import some methods from the Hugging Face Transformers package. These methods make it easier to prepare and use these models. We need to convert the images we send to the model using the pillow package. We import Torch to use our GPU. And we include this module for timing how long the model takes to run. All the code will be available in a GitHub repo. Link in the description below. To use the timer, we set it up as a function decorator. The main function processes our OCR tasks taking a prompt and image as input. This is the model name we are using. This line is used for configuring the text generation portion of our model. We're skipping most of the options for our simple demo. Check back for a future video that covers this in more detail. This function is the generic entry point to the pre-trained causal language models. We pass in the model name. The device is CUDA for using our GPU since this model is new, we need to pass in the Trust Remote code for now. We will be using Flash Attention 2. This option can make the model more efficient. We're not training, so we use eval, and we send the model to GPU for more efficient processing. This next line loads the preprocessor for processing input. Here, we are converting the image into RGB format. This line formats the prompt with the necessary tags. The model won't work if you don't get this right. Then we process the input text and images into tensors for our model and pass this on to our GPU for processing. This generate line communicates with our model, sending in the input and receiving the output. We set a reasonable number for tokens. When the model finishes running, we need to convert the tensors back into readable text. Finally, we print the output to the screen. We have four examples to show how well this model works. The first two are running pure OCR, just extract and return the text on the image. The other two ask specific questions about one thing on each image to see how well the image handles this functionality. Here is the receipt we are using today and the sample driver's license. We use these two images in most of our other videos on OCR models, such as OpenAI, Gemini, and DeepSeek. See our playlist for more information. Okay, now we run the code. This takes a few minutes. While it's running, the GPU shows a full load when it is called. We are using a machine with a GE Force 4060 with eight gigs of memory. In addition, the Python script takes about six gigs of RAM. The answers are printed to the screen one by one. Here is a comparison for the first image. The model found everything except for the small fuzzy print directly under the word Walmart. So far, all the models we have tested have missed those four words. Everything else is 100% accurate. Looks good so far. For the driver's license, the model missed the words visit PA and USA at the top, 
along with the vertical 1, 2, 3 and sample. It found everything else. For the text it found, it was 100% accurate. However, it had some issues with font colors and placement, similar to other models we have tested before. For the last two questions, the model was able to detect and read the signature, and able to read text that is displayed in a date format. This is useful if you want more than just straight OCR. You also want some understanding of what the image contains. So, what does this all mean? This demo highlights the power of combining OCR with a contextual understanding of a multimodal model like V4. It's not just about blindly extracting characters, it's about identifying meaningful elements within the visual information, recognizing signatures and dates, and understanding other text patterns. This opens up exciting possibilities beyond simple text extraction, allowing for more intelligent document processing, automated data interpretation from images, and a deeper understanding of the documents we handle every day. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our video. As always, questions and comments are welcome. See you next time.